Hello everyone, I'm BVG Hill, and welcome back to another episode of Mass Effect 3. Here we are, once again, on board the Normandy for the 35th, 36th time episode? Maybe? No? This is a really weird intro. I apologize for that. But anyways, last time we finished up the Geth Dreadnought, found out that the Admiral Garrel is an asshole, and Admiral Zen is as well. I'm not going to go into too much detail with that because, well, you know, take too long. But anyways, we're going to continue that mission even though last episode we also got messages from everybody and their flipping mother that they want to talk to us on the Citadel or some such nonsense. So, well, yeah. We're not going to do that this episode because I feel like that would break the flow. We need to save the Admiral and shut down the Geth server. That's the stuff that we need to do now. But I feel like we should probably... Ooh, what should we do first? We should probably save the Admiral first. Because that's slightly more time sensitive. Because it all depends on the Admiral and his men holding out as long as possible. So we're going to take Tally with us. Tally and Edie, because that was a pretty good combo. Tally and Edie have some very interesting conversations from what I've seen so far. So like I've said before, I don't usually bring Edie with me. I probably should, but I don't. So yeah, save the Admiral first, because we don't know how long he's going to be able to hold. Have you reached Salcaris's escape pod? About to. Not yet. What's your status? The civilian fleet has taken significant Just protect your I'll do what I can. civilians, all right? Your civilians safe. Why is he so important? He's an admiral. Come on. I'm getting some static. It appears Elkoris crashed within range of a Geth jamming tower. You must disable it from the Of course. Zen? Admiral Zen? Ah, uh, she's gone. I'm afraid I cannot reconnect. The signal is too weak. Looks like we're on our own. Take us into the tower. It's so strange having Edie with me all the time because, as I've said before, I don't... Like, last playthrough, I didn't really bring her along that often. I feel like I've really, really been missing out the other, like, 700 million playthroughs of this game. The Geth installed anti-aircraft guns beside the jamming tower. Of course they did. We'll have to disable them on foot. Once the guns are gone, you take out the tower. Right, Commander. Setting you down here. Lovely planet. Reminds me of the the deserts of Arizona and Nevada. My people have been in exile for centuries. To be standing here in the land of my ancestors. Never thought it would happen, didn't you? Alright, let's get some disruptor ammo because of course we're going to be fighting Geth so electrified rounds is a fantastically great idea Edie? Oh. What's wrong? The jamming signal is strong closer to the tower I am experiencing signal loss with my systems on the Normandy Oh. Could it be lag from your new body? It is unlikely Tally Lag usually lasts no longer than 5.2 milliseconds Right. Interesting. My monitor has less lag than your new body. This is over a hundred years after to the present day. And you're telling me... The hell is that? Oh, that's a guess pyro, right. Screw you, buddy. Haha, <laughs> I ain't having none of that shit. No desire to get a flamethrower to the face. Please and thank you. Oh, poor people, man. They didn't ask for this shiz. They came so far. We need to radio Zalcoris if we're gonna find him. Let's get to that jamming tower. All right, let's do it. Oh, fucking hell! I'm okay. Watch out for more hmm. mines. Yeah, just continue. We're fine. We're fine. 
I hear. There are guests below us. All right, take cover. Understood. Uh, take cover. On it. Uh, ambush, bitches. Screw you, rocket trooper, bitch. Oh, ho, ho, ho. shot your rocket out of the air. How does that make you feel? God, I hate rocket guys. I hate a lot of the Geth troops. They really just suck a lot. And hopefully there won't be a lot of hunters here, because that would be very unfortunate, and I would not get any enjoyment out of the fights at all, because if I'm being honest on that Dreadnought, I did not enjoy any of it. It was horrible. It was like the worst. Oh boy, that was close. We turn up the sensitivity. I've been playing a lot of Overwatch recently, which you might see some of that on the channel coming up. I've been playing a lot of Overwatch recently, so I've been getting accustomed to having my sensitivity higher. That game's so good. It's so fast-paced. I've been playing Overwatch for a long time, but I haven't recorded any in quite a while, and I did recently. So look forward to that. Little little sneak peek into the future, the near future of the channel. Oh. The guest anti-aircraft guns are up ahead. Who to kill first? I wish you got bonus damage for sneaking up on them. We need to roll up here. There we go. Oh, take cover, please. Where's the hunters? I'm waiting. I know. I know they're going to be around. It's like, it's pretty much a guarantee. Yeah, basically, I've become increasingly used to having... Good job, Edie. Really high sensitivity for aiming. I'll take the Geth tech. Why not? Free credits. Next time we go to the Citadel, I'll have a shitload of credits to spend. Ooh. Geth Spitfire. Interesting. Uh, let's do it. One of us must shut down the anti-aircraft guns, Shepard. Um, that's a pretty easy choice. No offense, Tally. You're excellent at hacking, and you're an expert at Geth, but Edie is an actual AI. Edie, I want so, you on this. Just saying. Right away. <laughs> Although she is being partially signal jammed, so this could be an issue. In. Question of oh shit! All oh, right, this is the Spitfire. It's like a freaking machine gun. Oh, that's a Geth Prime. I killed myself. That was really stupid. Why did I just sit there and let them... Uh, like I was going to kill a Geth Prime before I died. Seriously? Freaking minigun or not. Come on now. Oh, that went well. Oh, shit. Oh, no. They're here. The hunters. No. No. I don't want it. Please. No. I'm getting nightmares. The nightmares, they're back. <laughs> the hunters, please. <laughs> it's like the worst form of torture in a game. Death hunters. Oh, but I, we got him. We got him, guys. We did it. We didn't die. We're fine. And that's because uh, since the last episode, I have gone uh, pro. I'm now MLG. Don't quote me on that, because it's a lie. Duh. Oh, it's a lot of blood. Oh shit, we got a live one. Sir? You, you heard my message. Send out a distress call. Radios are down. You a soldier? Maintenance. Dorm hats. I... Uh, I clean engine parts. Stay still, man. Stay Don't still. Move. We've got Metagel. Oh, I lost too much blood. Go. Look for the Admiral. Destroy that jamming tower. And you can radio him. 
We'll find him, Dorn. I promise. Please. Listen. The civilian fleet didn't want this war. If there's even a chance that Admiral Gorus can get us out alive. And my son. Tell him. Tell Jonah that his father made it to the home world. We will. Rest well, Dorn has the Vasremak. Let's get to that tower. Oh boy. The feels. Why does this game have to make me feel so many things? My normally cold, black heart is brought to life by the feels I experience with this game. Oh shit, hello. Oh, that's a turret. Yes. Yes, please. Look at this freaking pyro. Because once those pyros get in your face, you're done. You are less good. Less good. I'm waiting for the hunters still. I know, like, every fight. I know it's only a matter of time. Who the fuck? How dare you? How dare you, sir? Let's look at the gun's console. We should be able to disable it. Oh, did you guys actually kill the last two people? Holy oh, shit. It's a Christmas miracle, everybody. Squeeze through there. Alright, who's on this one? Who should disable the gun, Shepard? Uh, Tally, go for it. I want it. you on this, Tally. Right. I'll boost your confidence by basically telling you, you that you're as good as an AI. You yourself, oh, best fucking believe I'm going to. Holy shit. Who wants some? You know, this seems oddly similar to the, uh, Turian turrets that were on, uh, Mene. Halivan's Moon. Everyone remember that? Oh. Oh shit. Did I just open... Oh fuck. I opened the command console. I didn't even know that was a thing in Mass Effect. Or maybe that's something attached to a mod, I have no idea. Oh my sweet baby Jesus! Back to the turret! Yeah, I'm not taking any of your shit, boy. I mean, you have a big, uber-powerful turret, why in the hell would you ever not use it? That was horrible English, but I hope you got my point. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, that's another turret. I'm all over it, baby. Get on the turret. Go, go, go. Oh shit, I can't use it. Fuck. Run away. I've made a mistake. Grievous error. And I'm gonna fuck you up anyways. Son of a bitch. That's right. You fools. Like how these turrets only conveniently place in directions that are pertinent to the storyline. Like, why wouldn't you just make these turrets be able to rotate all the way around? It just seems... Seems like a really horrible feature. It wouldn't be that difficult to make it... it wouldn't be that difficult to make it, um... Just swivel the rest of the way, right? I mean, you'd think. Could be wrong. Who should disable the gun, Shepard? Edie, go for it. Take the gun offline, Edie. At once. Mentally, try not to die 17 times in this fight. I'm gonna get on this turret. Hopefully that'll allow you to stay alive better. Bring it, bitches! Come get some! Come get some!
Oh shit! Hello? How about... Screw you! Okay, some more we're gonna drop. Right? No? Oh, okay. Mission done. Job completed. Dun, dun, dun. Oh yeah, screenshots for days right there. Dorn is this unfortunately is passed. Dorn didn't make it, Admiral. He didn't. Uh, I see. I'm coming in with a shuttle. Where are you? My survivor company found their way to a clearing. I'll upload their location. Stay together. We'll meet you there. No, the gift will cut me off. I hear another wave approaching. We're coming. Give us your coordinates. So will you. My people are non-combatants, Shepard. They'll be slaughtered. Rescue them. We need a peacemaker. Admiral, Chorus. I need you leading the civilian fleet if we're going to end this fight. Civilians? Our entire race took up arms for this insanity. It's too late for us. It's only too late if you die down here. You can't possibly think you can stop this war. I don't know. What I do know is that I can't do it without your help. We need you and Tally. Voices of reason. Admiral? Ancestors, forgive me. Uploading my coordinates. It's seriously unfortunate. But if we save those civilians. Chorus dies, and he's someone with power that has a reasonable mind about him that could actually make this war I've got this. not a giant shit show. I can barely see what I'm aiming at because of how badly everything is shaking right now. Like, holy shit. I could barely see it. I have no idea what's going on. Behind him. Oh shit. Got you, Admiral. Kind of. Fuck. How are you not dead? Well, that was a lot easier than I remember it being. Uh -oh. oh shit! Welcome aboard. Convenient that the back door was also open. My crew, perhaps there's still time. Hello, this is Zell Chorus. Does anyone copy? Hello. How did you s alone get separated? Apparently, your crew is not. We've got to go. Okay. Pray they found comfort in the homeworld skies. I'm sure they did, Chorus. In between screams of desperation. That was a bad joke. I apologize for that. Too soon. Unrest has spread further than I thought. You were right that I return. Have you talked the civilian captains into staying? Yes. They've regrouped into defensive positions around the fleet's core. If we hadn't stopped them from... Any aid I can offer is yours. After the Quarians drove the Geth straight into the Reaper's arms, I'd give anything to stop the madness of this war. Thank you. And that's why your people needed you back. Exactly. Of course. It's time we turned our attentions to those we can still save. Farewell, Shepard. Fly safely. You as well, Chorus. Commander? We've located the Reaper base, transmitting the local signal. Good. And not a moment too soon. With the Reaper code upgrades, the Geth are tearing the fleet apart. Once the signal is disabled, the Geth will pose no threat to creator forces. Is that a problem? You sound conflicted. While the old machines have unethical purposes, 
Their upgrades have vastly improved our people. Observe. A guest processing signal. A signal unit, I believe. Correct. Now, ten nearby units networked cooperatively. Now, a single GEF unit with the old machine upgrades. That's a fully evolved AI. Yes. We do not agree with the goals no of shit. the old machines, but we find this growth beautiful, indicative of life. This is going to be really controversial with Admiral Ron, but I agree. It is. Commander! I have Edie. Come on, Admiral. That's a living creature, no matter what platform it's running on. And they will die when we destroy the base. They allied with the Reapers. To save themselves from you. I don't want them destroyed. Maybe they don't have to die. Just because <clears throat> this one appears friendly. Well, it hasn't fired on a ship with me aboard it. Oh, Commander, burn. Are you suggesting... I'm not suggesting anything. All I'm saying is maybe they don't all have to die. It's a moot point until we take out that base. The surrounding area is heavily fortified, and they have placed jamming towers to prevent orbital targeting. Sounds like we're going in on foot. Admiral Zen developed a laser guidance system that can cut through the jamming. It's synced to the Normandy's targeting computer. Right. So the Normandy launches a precision strike at whatever target I have painted? That ought to do it. Edie, this work for you? Yes. It should enable us to make a precision strike against the Reapers. That's what was just said. And anything else in our way. Captain I guess obvious. We'll reconfigure their jamming towers to neutralize this technology. You should not use it before reaching the base. I've sent the coordinates for the Reaper base. Right. Are we clear to go? Sweet. That get fighter squadron is still tearing through the fleet. Can you hold out? If that fighter squadron isn't taken out, a lot of our ships won't make it. We'll get the, but we'll do we'll what get we the can. fighters. This is your operation, Commander. If you want to strike now, you've got my support. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna save I'm gonna save peace. The Potter fleet isn't moving. We need to break their flanking attempt to buy our frigates time to make repairs. And then you'll charge off again like last time. This is different, Rob. So pull them back. If I withdraw now, the get will flank us and we'll lose any room to maneuver. I need the patrol fleet. I gave in to your reckless behavior mm. before. The patrol fleet isn't moving. We need to break their flanking attempt to buy our frigates time to make repairs. And then you'll charge off again like last time. I'm supporting Ron. Throwing more ships into that mess just puts more lives at risk, Admiral Garrel. Thank you, Commander. It's difficult to keep him in line. But anyways, as usual, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, make sure to hit that like button down below. If you really enjoyed it, make sure to hit that subscribe button that's also down below for more content from me. And feel free to leave me a comment let me know what you thought, what you liked, what you didn't like, and any suggestions for games that you would like to see me play in the future. And last but most certainly not least, if this video just blew your mind, most definitely be sure to share this video with your friends, your family, your loved ones, your random people you meet on the street or the internet, whatever floats your boat. And I will see all of you in the next one. See you later.